The Midwest has the most productive farmland in the country. A big reason many of the crops are so good lies under the dirt. A lot of farm fields in the Midwest were once wet. Early settlers working their way west would get stuck in these mucky swamps. There were mosquitoes and malaria, and they would move through these swamps and go to the dry farmland. But once that land was taken, settlers started eyeing these swamps. They dug deep trenches and put in drainage pipes to get rid of the water. Lynn Davis's family has been in the farm drainage business for more than 100 years. He says back in the day, this area in northwest Ohio was especially swampy. This was part of the great black swamp, and uh, if it wasn't for the system of open ditches and the subsurface tile, why uh, the water level would actually be, that this still would be swamp. The great black swamp stretched from the western edge of Lake Erie north into Michigan and 120 miles west across the Indiana border. It was one of the biggest wetlands in the country. Today, it's gone. Only pockets of old swampland remain. Just like road commissioners built new roads, drain commissioners moved in and built drainage ditches along the roadways. A lot of the trenches under these farm fields were dug by hand. Here, in the 1930s, members of the Civilian Conservation Corps are digging drainage ditches in northwest Ohio. Once the trench was dug, they would drop in clay pipe in one-foot sections. They would then bury that pipe. The pipes are also known as drain tiles, and they would carry the water away from the fields and into the roadside ditches. Lynn Davis says when his machines dig into the ground, he still turns up drain tile that was put into the ground 100 years ago. If they were taken care of and the outlets were maintained, why they still work, and, and quite often we'll just put a new tile in between, one or two tile in between the existing tile. This farmland would turn back into swampland if people like Davis were not here to put in new drain tiles. Yeah, go. Today, Lynn Davis's crew uses a big machine that's called an open wheel trencher. It's much like the machine his grandfather used, except instead of being powered by steam, it's powered by a big diesel engine. It has hydraulics. And instead of putting sections of clay tile under the ground, they put in black plastic pipe with holes in it. Davis says the laser on the machine controls the grade or how deep the wheel digs. It does it automatically. The laser's doing that automatically. All he's doing right now is, is driving, right? Uh, trying to go straight, yeah. The crew is burying these pipes under 128 acres here. The bill for this project is around $100,000. And once it's all done, the farmer will have 128 acres of productive farmland instead of 128 acres of swampland.